Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my videos. It's here for you guys how to get every single new Subjutsu in Shinto Life. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe, click on more, so get right to the video, guys. All right, so for Satori Inferno Bomb Rush, which is the uh, Amaterasu Shuriken Rush, you want to start it here, and you actually want to kill Satori Kuma. And I'm going to run to Satori Kuma just to show you guys where it is. And basically, it's going to be a 7.7% drop chance from Satori Kuma. Now, just follow my tracks in case you don't know where the boss is. Satori actually spawns right here, up here. Now, for the Bankai Inferno Bob Toss, you could go off of Satori Kuma here. Satori Kuma will spawn right here. For the Bankai Inferno Bob Toss, you just want to walk forward towards the uh, waterfall right here, and you want to go up this cliff. And this is how you get Bankai, Kuma, Bankai Inferno Bomb Toss. All right, so for the Obelisk ones, which are going to be Jisoo Seisha to Cabo Cobra, I actually recommend using Pika Seko because they are quite a long way away. So you want to start the Rama shop here. I'm going to use Pika Seko to actually go. So this one's going to be Jisoo Seishin. For Jisoo Seishin, you want to go over to the right here and down here. And Jisoo Seishin will spawn here. Jisoo Seishin actually does have two drops, and they both are not that rare. Now, going on from Jisoo here is how you're going to get to the Cabo Cobra one. You just want to go around this ledge here, up here, and around. And Cabo Cobra will spawn right here. Cabo Cobra is like right next to Jisoo Seishin. So if you want to go back and forth between Jisoo Seishin and Cabo Cobra to farm the drops, that would probably be best. Now, this one is actually going to be Hydra Style Liquify, by the way. Alright, so Giovanni Shizen and Odin Saburu will both spawn in Nimbus. For Odin Shock Wolf, you want to start at the Ramen Shop here? Now, as before, I actually recommend you use Pikaseko for Giovanni, but for Odin, you don't need to. You just start at the Ramen Shop, go backwards, run forwards right here, and then you want to turn to the left, and he will spawn right here. It's very, very close to the Ramen Shop, so you don't really need Pika for this one. Now, for the next one, it is really far away, so I recommend using a traveling move. I'm going to use Pikaseko for this. You guys just want to go around this rocker here. And you want to go forward now this this character is pretty much across the entire map so yeah i recommend using a traveling move but if you don't you can still follow where i'm going by just running but yeah you just want to go up here run up this rock cliff yeah you i used all of pika Seco to get here this this is like one of the furthest away scrolls run up this cliff right here and across from here, Giovanni Shizen will actually spawn, and this is how you're going to get the uh, water jet. So for Menza Azarash, you would start off the ramen shop here, and you want to just go straight left. I'm going to go through here, up this, up the steps. But Menza Azarashi will actually spawn just straight to the left of the ramen shop. You can pretty much just follow where I'm going, and you'll be able to get the Menza very easily. Now, Garrett Atomic is right there in case you want that. There's not, he doesn't drop any Subjutsus or anything like that. But yeah, Menza Asarashi will spawn right here, and this is how you're going to get the chain ability. Alright, so for Minikami, you want to start off the ramen shop here. You want to just do the same exact way that you went for Menza Asarashi. I'm actually going to use Pikaseko because it is a way further distance away. But just go to where Menza Asarashi spawned in the one I just showed you before. Well, close to it, just go to Garrett Atomic, and then use Pikaseko to go straight towards where One Tail spawned. If you go towards where One Tail spawned, you will actually find it very easily. It will be off to the left of where One Tail spawns. To the right right here across the uh, to the right of this uh, ledge right here it will be minikami and this is how you're going to get the poison bomb ability all right so for the shiver style dimension blade you want to start out at the gates here and you want to just go straight if you guys go straight from here you will actually be able to find shiver kuma very easily which is the boss that drops it it, it isn't it, it is a very rare drop so just be aware of that all right so for vanishing clone spirit bomb you want to be on the side where all the houses are and you just go over to the left right here and this is where the the vanishing spirit bomb will drop from it drops from naramaki all right so for magma spirit bomb you want to start off from naramaki here from the one i showed you before and you just go straight to the right and down here and this is where minikaze will actually spawn it is very close by to naramaki so it's very easy to farm them back and forth this is where magma spirit bomb will spawn all right, so for Illusion Crow, you want to start off at the Ramen Shop here. You want to go off to the left. This is in Haze, by the way. You just want to go off to the left here. I'm going to use Picaseco, but it's pretty much just a straight left shot from the Ramen Shop. So you just want to go over here, go right here, and here is Riser Kuma, which is the boss that drops the Suzuki that you guys want. All right, so for the Bruce Dragon Kaba, which is going to be from Bruce Kenichi, you want to start off at the Dueling Pads here, and you need to go straight back from the rock. If you guys go straight back from the rock, Bruce Kenichi will spawn over here, and this will be the spawn of the actual Bruce Dragon combo. It's just extremely, extremely, extremely rare. All right, so for the Ryuji Nunchuck, you want to go straight back from the rock. So as you guys can see, the three logs are right here. The Ryuji Nunchuck will spawn behind the three logs in training, and it will spawn from Ryuji Kenichi, the boss. Anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe, and more. Thanks for guys. Bye bye.